Thank you. And well done, everybody, for being here in this uh, inclement weather, but it just shows that we have a resolve. H.L. Mencken, American Literary, once said, the most dangerous man to any government is the man who is able to think things through without regard to the prevailing superstitions and taboos. Almost inevitably, he comes to the conclusion that the government he lives under is dishonest, insane and intolerable. We have certain fundamental rights in our democratic society to elect a government that we believe will represent the needs of the people of the state and to throw them out when we realise that they aren't doing their job and to protest any breach of our rights and to protest against their dis disregard of their responsibilities to the people they serve. Over the last 18 months, it has become more and more obvious to me and many others that this, break, this government should not be trusted with the well-being of the citizens of this state. Child protection, disabilities, work cover, whistleblowers, housing trust, public trustee, law and order, and now a dodgy election. And the results of this election have been cast under a cloud of suspicion and where they own their, de where by their own deeds they've proven to the people of this state they are not worthy to govern. Just after this uh, broke in the media about the, the fraudulent cards, Grace Portalazzi went on 5AA Talkback Radio and she said, everybody knows how I feel about Family First. Can't stand the heat, get out of the kitchen. This isn't about ethics, this isn't about morals, ladies and gentlemen. This is about political game playing. She and accepted the preference. Yes, exactly, she accepted the preference as you did right. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a very small window of opportunity to make sure that this government gets the message loud and clear that enough is enough. That we have had enough of being dictated to, we've been, had enough of being ignored. I've seen the victims created by unjust and dysfunctional systems in this state and I did believe it was time for a change and so did 51% of South Australians. 52%, sorry. I haven't kept up with the news in the last week. The Rand government must now work with the knowledge that they are on notice and that their ministers have been punished by the, by the voters. The question is now, will the people of this state remember the failures and the dirty deeds in 2014? Yes. I intend to make sure that we do. Yeah. 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 And finally, another quote, Harry S. Truman said, once a government is committed to the principle of silencing the voice of the opposition, it has only one way to go. That is down the path of increasingly repressive measures until it becomes a source of terror to all its citizens and creates a country where everyone lives in fear. And that is what we've got, ladies and gentlemen, that is what we've got.